Hey everybody, this is Mike. Uh, I sell as Michael Mondo on eBay and uh, Treasure Mike here uh, on uh, on YouTube. Want to share a quick video with you right now about this guy right here. Uh, this is a Techniques uh, amplifier uh, receiver uh, that we just sold. And I learned a lot of stuff um, working on this. Uh, so I wanted to share a couple of those things with you. Hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching. Okay, so this is the um, uh, Techniques. It's an SAR377. It is uh, actually in very nice condition. A um, couple of cool things on the numbers. We did pretty well on this. Picked this up for about four. Uh, I'm sorry, for about twenty-one dollars. It was at a Goodwill. Um, basically, sold this for about one twenty-six. Uh, that was with free shipping, and it is actually going to the UK. So the first thing I want to mention: if you're not using the international selling uh, feature on eBay, there's no reason not to do that. Um, these were slow sellers, the numbers on this. I think there were uh, two listed uh, and only one sold in 90 days, but the prices were really good, so I took a gamble on it. And um, we did actually get an offer on it, a low one, and at that point, I think we had it up at uh, 150 or 160. And um, I countered at 125. The guy didn't take it, uh, but once I had done that, I went ahead and lowered the price, and uh, it ended up selling. I knew we were going to have a good one here because the interest on it was huge. Um, now, this was not a perfect unit. First off, we did plug it in at the store, and it did power up, so I knew that it would at least power up. And another good thing we knew right away was that um, the one, one of the ones that were listed, I think perhaps the one that had sold had some issues, like the volume knob didn't work, and it still brought like $160. So we knew even with issues, it would probably get us the money back. We found out that there was a short in this, but the more I worked with it, the better it got. So I did disclose that, of course. And then when we first opened it up, uh, one thing that we discovered was that the fan on the back was not operating very well. So here's the fan. This cools the unit. Um, these uh, amps, um, they use a lot of power and they get really hot in there. Um, so these have to actually be um, operating correctly. Um, most of these units only have like a few screws on the side. You take those out, this whole cover comes off. I was able to just blow some air through this uh, with a can of, of air like you would use on your computer and it started spinning perfectly. So uh, I was able to fix that. But again, even in the listing, still disclose that as you always should. Um, and I'll show you real quick uh, over here how we're going to uh, box this guy up and get him shipped out. Okay, so here's what we're going to do with this guy. Uh, all in, he's going to be over 19 pounds, so he's definitely going FedEx, and I want a good sturdy box. Uh, this comes to us courtesy of a friend who owns a comic book store. Um, so he gets a bunch of these boxes and saves them for us. Good side tip here, if you know anybody who's got any kind of retail store, they probably get boxes and packing material that ends up in the, the dump. So put the word out and let people know you want stuff. In fact, everything that we're using here is, is uh, recycled or reused, rather. So this cardboard uh, is reused from another source. All this bubble wrap, some of it came from a friend Ron's store, some of it comes from the printing store that we use for another project we work on. So this is reused uh, bubble wrap. And I'm gonna do that as a layer on the bottom. We also have some peanuts here we're gonna use. But what I like to do with something that's really heavy like this is uh, kind of put a floor between the unit and that bubble wrap. Because you don't want that bubble wrap popping and if you take a look at the bottom of this guy he's got some things that stick down under there i don't know if it'll focus right there we go so you got to be cognizant of that kind of stuff and make sure when you set it down in there that it doesn't um, pop your bubble wrap because we have made that mistake where we let a bubble wrap piece of bubble wrap pop and it wasn't doing its job anymore we had to refund a little bit of money on something that got a little chip in it so um, do be careful of that when you're putting stuff together and we'll go ahead and get this guy set down in there and uh, then finish packing the rest this is uh, the cord for this guy and you'll notice i got twist ties on there never 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 throw away a twist tie because this looks so much more professional and nice than just having the cord wrapped around the unit so keep that put it in the box and uh, that way you can just toss them in there Okay, so uh, it's actually presented a good bit of problem. Actually, like most of you, you know, during this uh, pandemic, we haven't been able to go out and source. We also haven't been able to find 
any uh, good packing material. So we're <laughs> really digging through the dregs here. So I'm kind of having to piecemeal this together. But I did a couple of things. Number one, this is a kind of rolled up cardboard on this side and this side over here. And that keeps it from going this way. That keeps it nice and solid this way. I've uh, got a lot of air pockets in here. One thing I always try and do with these electronics is you got to look at the knobs and make sure that the box doesn't touch any knobs sticking out on the back. You know, the, the connectors and stuff. I want air pockets there. I found a place right here where there was no um, thing sticking out. So I could put this cardboard spacer in here. And it's made like a triangle because that gives a good solid strength. I taped it together and I put some styrofoam in there to help prevent that. And I think I've got something now. I feel pretty confident that it's not going to move around in the box. When it's done, I'll give the the, uh, the shake test to make sure nothing is moving. I'm going to fill in the top here with some other reclaimed materials. But the cool thing is, pretty much everything we're using here is either reuse or found um, these uh, peanuts we had lucked into at a, a restore. There was a whole big bag of, of them, actually a couple of them, so we got them for next to nothing. Um, but a lot of times you can find those reused. Almost everything we're using here is something that we've kept out of the landfill, at least for one more use. So that's really cool. Um, so that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. I know I learned a lot from this guy, and it's uh, off to the UK. So thanks for watching, and make sure to uh, like the video, comment if you have any ideas, uh, and definitely subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot.